All right, guys, we're doing the 27th hard request, I think, today. It is a Hall & Oates song called Did It In A Minute. And great keyboard stuff for you here from the 80s. Let's do the introduction here. We have a... Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song, as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices. Use uh, Google Chrome as your browser for best results. Um, but I have something on there for everyone, even if you're a complete beginner. And if you are a complete beginner, I recommend going to seancheekblog.com. And clicking on the right hand side of the page, you'll see a blue link that says how to be your piano, how to be your own piano teacher on webpianoteacher.com. And you click that, it'll give you a practice plan and a strategy so that you don't uh, pull your hair out trying to figure out which videos to start on first and what to do if you're a beginner. <clears throat> Just give you a you know a, a, a pattern, a way to progress through the side. So anyway, let's start with this free part one here. And uh, check me out on Facebook. Uh, just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. See what I'm up to. See what videos are next um, for piano lessons. So we'll start uh, with this. And you may notice I'm not using the whiteboard this time. I'm going to try this out. This will save me some time if I don't have to write on a whiteboard. If I'm using the Surface Pro 3 and I'm using the Journal app and just writing with a pen, I'm getting better and better at uh, the penmanship on it. But anyway, we're going to go. Uh, up here at the top and do D and G with the right hand and the left hand I'm going to do G D G with the left hand 5 2 1 okay bum, bum. if you want some more bass you can do an octave down here with the left hand which I kind of like doing that so I want to just jump down here and do an octave if you do an octave like that that's low don't play the D in the middle because then it's too too muddy so alright then we're going to go uh, D, G, B in the right hand, and there are two keyboards going on in this song. I've kind of combined them both to make a, a nice little arrangement. It's not too hard to play and captures all of the uh, neat things we want in it. But two times, one, two, and we're going to go to D, F sharp, A two times, then back to D, G, B two times, back to D, F sharp, A two times, back to D, G, B once. Okay, so we have one, two, ready, go. So, after you do that last DGB, you gotta immediately go to C, E, G. Left hand on a C octave. Okay, so that'll be C, E, G on the right, left hand on a C octave. And then C, D, F sharp. Those are kind of slow compared to the other ones we've been doing. So it's and then C E G on the right, left hand on a D octave, and then C D F sharp on the right, why don't you do another D octave, and then one more C E G. So again, I finish it of course in the in the part two I kind of play it simpler I just do this so I, I take out the you know where you do it two times every time you'll see when you get on there I kind of simplify it and show you how to if you have trouble playing um, the, the wrist you know multiple times in a row which can be a problem for some people. I kind of simplify it in certain places. Or I show you how to do it simpler. I don't, but I'll show you the, the original way too. So uh, let's go ahead and do it again. Ready, go. Then we go back to the beginning. That's what the dot to dot means. You go back to the dot and you play to the next dot. So. We do the next part, and all of the rest of it 
uh, to the end of the song. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I'll see you on the website. Again, webpianoteacher.com. Any questions, email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com. Talk to you guys later.